in three, two, one, I am recording, bop, bop, bop. Hello, what's up, everybody? It is the week two of the MDL. It is your host, Guren Shiratori, and uh, joining me today is... Konakazak! Is it just us two? No. <laughs> I'm here too. I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, so Axel's not on the table today because he is challenging uh Noah this week for this match. Um, looking at the teams, everybody, what uh, what are we looking at here? Well, it looks like on Axel's team we got some. I'll be honest with you, I see a lot of things that are small and squishy. <laughs> I see two things that are particularly tanky. One being the Arbovia and the other one being the Corviknight. Mm, I wonder how that Arbovia is gonna go. You know, I, I I've like battled against you with that, Zach, and you know how. I mean, obviously you probably you, you seem to how irritating and our how such you get. Mm-hmm. I will say this though, Axel's not gonna be able to protect at all. At all. Yeah. Yeah, because of the oh, Indeedee. Oh, right. And the Indeedee, too. Right? So I'm thinking the Indeedee, maybe for the psychic search, for, you know, maybe thinking of a BP from that scissor on I Noah's mean, team. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I will say this, though. Based on what we're seeing so far, I can imagine that, uh, how do I put this? If uh, Noah does not do anything about that Sneasler or the Mew. The Mew is your The Mew, but his big, so, so Noah's biggest thing is taking out that that indeed but yeah. for all we know and it'd be really funny if you asked me if one of his Pokemon were running a terrain mm, very true i feel like at least no make at least should have a sense of danger from that sneezer considering that was one of his aces in the monotype tournament oh yeah however i will say this though that petron if it has nightshade Will fucking break anything that Corviknight has for it. Yeah, <laughs> that is absolutely true. And then again, like you know, that was also one. Well, I wouldn't say Ace, but that was one of the staples. And then you know, so like you know, we should probably go to Noah's team too. He has that Petra and that you know he had throughout the Monotype tournament. Scissor with the BP, like I mentioned, that Ditto could be interesting. I mean, I'm pretty sure he just took it for the the one it being a one point, but you know, Ditto's can be used. In a variety, of, obviously, that urge food there. Cerule Edge, I don't know how it does in competitive battling. Maybe we're, I guess we're just gonna have to see and find out. It does also get priority in Shadow Sneak as well, yeah. so. That and the Bitter does. Blade for sustain, so if that's what he uses against the Corviknight, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But uh, if you guys are ready to watch the match, I can start. We can. Oh, uh, all right. Let's Good luck. Uh, fun. I hope we'll get a very nice battle, which I think we should, so. I'm a, so, I'm a, 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 I'm
But oh. I would switch out. If I, was I him, would I'd probably switch out. Switch out. Yeah, cause it does but it like... will be faster, though. I will say that. It definitely will be faster. I would switch out into the Urshifu, weirdly enough. Not Urshifu, the uh, Scissor, weirdly. Yeah, because I think, it, especially if he switches out too, right, he'll uh, get his attack stat back. And Why did, oh, he why did, why did, why did that? And it's not fast. It's not oh, he's nice fast. I thought he oh. used... Oh my gosh. Petron's back out. Do not, oh, I boy. hope he doesn't go Malignant Chain again because he should probably know what's going to happen. Oh my <laughs> god, reminiscing from Chicken Man's Battle of the Model Tournament. Oh yeah. What do you gotta call me out like that for? Hopefully, <laughs> oh, not a great idea. Yeah. Oh. Hopefully, no. probably not the oh. best answer. What are you gonna do with that iron defense? Honest, I mean, he it might be something else. He needs nightshade. Nightshade is needed. Ditto copies the nightshade. boosted stats as well, right? If it comes out with him, yes, yes, yes. It does. That could be he nightshade this thing? I don't. Honestly, I don't think he would have thought. Well, that's the thing that he did. He can't nightshade status, before. Well, you know, he can status it. It has mirror armor, not mirror, not magic bounce. Oh, oh that, that I think it. he's running pressure he too. That so. ditto. Be a little bit too early for the. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Gonna be oh. body pressing here. I what did no, just I, mean, I, I just realized like, Axel team can't do shit to the to the Corviknight. I just hope he doesn't switch out of it. That's hilarious. It doesn't. Switch. But the PP for the moves are still stuck at like five, right? I think. Yes. That kind of sucks. I mean, at this point, maybe hope to like at least get a knock or something. Hopefully, he has mystical fire in his thing killer. I doubt it because I don't think he was preparing for that. I'm not sure if he makes the right moves. That's also true. Oh, here's you. oh, going for the iron defense oh, again. Okay, he's gonna tank here. Shattered. Oh, well, here's the thing. That Mew is a Mew. Yeah. He can't have anything. He could even have flamethrower. Oh, God. It also depends on what kind of Mew this is. Hmm. Good point, good point. For those of you who don't know, Mew is one of those Pokemon that has a... Oh, oh my bullshit. goodness! That's a lot of damage. I mean, Corviknight really isn't especially defensive. Yeah. Damn! Who make it? So what are you switching in? Back to Indeedy. Ooh! Oh. What the? If you get a roost, get a roost, Ow. dude. Roost. It has defog, iron defense, body. Pro it probably will, uh, if I it was. Should, you know, it should. It probably has roost. roost. Yeah. It probably has. There's roost. no way Axel would have put roost on this tank. <laughs> Maybe he's banking on the leftovers to take over. Nah, Actually, definitely I not. I kind of do wonder what item he's running on the <laughs> diddle then, right? Let's say. Doesn't do The left leftovers. Oh, it is yeah. leftovers. See that. Fire! Oh, the Terra Blast! Woo! Okay, so no mystical fire, but I had the Terra Blast fire, alright. Whoa, wait, hold oh, on a minute. Oh, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Do it again! Do it please again! Don't. Please don't. Please wait, don't nightshade it either, because... Oh, that's psychic lift! Oh. Holy shit! Wife oh, I'll play the Wife I'll play the special attacker! No! Oh no! And there goes Petron. I'm actually confused by that one a little bit. Holy shit! Well, psychic terrain is down. Will he get the bullet punch off and still kill? Probably. Uh, probably. Well, Oof. and then if I'm thinking actually, oh, he might be running life bullet orb again, and he's probably going to switch back into that. Oh, I don't see knock off. Oh, I don't but, see this. Yeah. I don't see this going well for Noah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Typically, you just don't win against birds. So. <laughs> no, there's ways. It's just like, it's just that Noah, that, like, I'll be honest with you, Will. Yeah, they did have a reason. Why knock off again, though? Uh, he feel, he probably thinks that bullet punch wasn't going to be worth it because of Roost. 
He has a skill type. Nothing Noah has right now can act. Oh my god, Noah, you should have. Oh, okay, you had just given up at this point. That is what's happened. He's giving up. Because well, I mean, unfortunately, from this point on, that thing. Yeah, I know, definitely. There's pretty, pretty much nothing he can yeah, do. No, but I'm thinking, no, that, I mean, if I was in his headspace, I would probably think he's just trying to reserve that urge to, however, like at this point now, yeah, he's, it's just, oh, it's over. Wait. It's just. Keep attacking it. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. Here's the glorious thing about Urshifu. Crits go through stat boosts. That's gonna so if this is a very expanded Urshifu, it can kill Chorus Blackbird. Stone Edge. Mm. Oh, and there is. no. Uh, you should have gone for the Wicked Blow. He didn't tear up. No, he did not. Oh, I'm surprised. Hello. 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 Oh, you have one. So, uh, when you turned into your Corvinette, I kind of was like, oh, hey, that's Actually, a problem. I, at first, my mind was thinking, oh, that's a problem. But then I remembered, it only has one attack on it, and that's Buddy Press. I know, but I thought it was funny, Axel, that most of the Pokemon on your team, I know we didn't know if the Indeedee had, if had, if Indeedee had Terra Fire, but the, the Corbin I kind of was kind of like a wall. <laughs> Almost a wall, but luckily I did still have my other Pokemon to help me out along the way. That's right. Uh, yeah, like the you, just like, I, I, I love Noah's team, Noah. Your team was pure power. It was just like, I had to worry about exactly what was coming out. I think the biggest threat to me that I saw was your Serilage out of everything else. I'm actually surprised. Well, here's the thing. The Serilage was an interesting build because we thought it was going to be a Focus Sash weak armor build. That is the, the normal type of set. Oh, my God. That was... Oh, my heart's racing. But the Stardust Empoleons pulled through for our first victory in the tournament. Ah, <sighs> road to playoffs. Let's go. Doa, gotta say, love your team. Are you there? You did. He's mooted. He doesn't want to talk to me. I'm sorry. I'll be back. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make I, I think he, I think definitely he had the, he, he has a better team composition than, like, at least, like, in power terms. I just have more utility terms, so that utility actually did help me out. Yeah, the, the especially like with the uh, Terra Terra Fire and Didi, I was like, oh, because I was thinking if, if it gets Mystical Fire at one point, and I was like, but I don't remember if it's that one or the male one. And then you come up with a Fire Terra typing with the Terra Blast. It's like, oh, well, that works too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, at that point, I was like, honestly, I didn't really care if my Terra Pokemon did go down because that just getting rid of the um the what what did it kill uh Diddle. Just getting rid of the Dodo helped me out so much, just because if I couldn't kill it then, then ouchies. There's a uh, that stat boost copy thing. It'll be kind of scary a little bit. Granted, it's limited to only five uses, but uh. <laughs> that's oh, still something. That's, that's still in, something. Like, that's that's enough to go through a team. <laughs> uh, but GG's Noah. It was it was a great match. It had me thinking about exactly what I needed to do next and. Your team is pure power. I believe you can go a very far way along in the tournament, even though you're not talking to me now. I'm sorry. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to me. But yeah, uh, was it just you and Zach hosting? Uh, Nino was also as well. And you know this. And then Will Will nice. came in with like a quip or two. Nice. So Nino, as uh, one of the co-hosts for Glenn, uh, what were you? I don't. I honestly don't know what you guys were saying. So, what was going through your mind? Uh, so like there was a lot of things that we were thinking about. The one thing that kind of got me, and I mean, I'm not saying this to be mean or anything, was the switch-ins with you know thinking that the movement chain is gonna come obviously, and then into the club. It gave me reminiscence, and again, I'm not calling anybody out, but it gave me reminiscence of Glenn and Chris's battle, you know, with the whole swapper and. That kind of Why stuff. Why you calling out like that for? I just, I just, I just, I just, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like, all, like you know, it was kind of interesting too to see because I know like Zach mentioned too, like one of the 
big touch. We actually didn't see you know, I think about it with the sneezer, right? And it's kind of funny yeah, that I was one of his aces in the monotype tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't see my sneezer or Darbolova in this match. So the their hidden tech is hidden. <laughs> but definitely a great match. Thank you, Noah. And let's let's have more great matches as we continue down the MDL. Uh that pretty much wraps up week two, so stay tuned for week three coming up soon. And any closing remarks, fellers? Um I think you're the first person that went six oh as well, I think, right? In terms of like how many yep. all the battles we've Yep. That's something. I mean, it was close to being a 5-0. It was close. It was close to being a 5-0. <laughs> also, grab, like, my Odigiri just putting in so much work in the beginning. Hey, I honestly, like I said, too, I, I did really kind of want to try and do the monotype tournament. It's just that it's the usage is hard, but it has a really nice move pool. It's got a good set. <clears throat> I'm just glad it showed up in this generation. <laughs> yeah, it was good. But anyways... And don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Click on that like icon if you hate Nino still from the Monotype Tournament. Absolutely. <laughs> Leave a comment. And don't forget to continue watching us in the MDL. We'll see you later, gamers. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.